Hello everyone, Ilda here from I Love Doing All Things Crafty and welcome back to another process video. Sorry it's been a while since my last video, but I'm back today with another fun interactive card to share with you. Spin reveal cards are all the rage right now, thanks to our friends from Lawn Fawn, but I wanted to share with you how you can create your own using supplies you may already have. As you can see here, I've customized this card to work with this large nail polish bottle die from Honeybee Stamps. This die cuts out a large window, and so I thought it'd make the perfect reveal card. So as you spin the wheel, the color of your nail polish changes. Most of the products I use today come from Honeybee Stamps, so make sure you check out the links below in the video description. So to begin, I have pre-cut all the panels for my card. So I have three five x five square panels, as well as a five x five card base. Next, I took the largest stitch scallop circle die and die cut it from one of the panels. To find the center point of the stitch circle, I'm just taking a scratch piece of paper and also die cutting it out with the same um, die. And I'm just gonna fold it and um, find the center this way. You could also take a ruler and do some measurements, but I thought this way would be just the easiest way for me to do it. Plus, I'm an eyeballer, so if I don't have to measure, I won't. Now, once I figured out the center, all I'm gonna do is take that piercing tool and poke right through both uh, layers of the paper. Now I'm just gonna grab all the layers for my card and with a punch tool, I'm just gonna punch a notch on the side of the card. And as you can see, the paper is pretty thick, so I'm going to have to use those guides as a mark to cut through each layer of um, the card. So now I'm gonna work on uh, making this spin wheel actually spin. So I'm using the top uh, stitched circle um, and laying it down on one of the panels and piercing a hole with my poke tool through um, the layers. And then I'm just gonna use a small brad, the smallest brad I had, um, and bend the teeth. And as you can see, it spins pretty freely. You wanna make sure that the circle is centered perfectly. The next part of the card was the trickiest, only because I wanted to make sure you wouldn't see the brad in the center or the stitched line on the circle. So despite all my measuring and trying to center the window on the front panel, I messed up the first time as the brad was still showing through. So I went ahead and cut out another panel using the previous panel as a guide. In the end, you'll see that this step was necessary as I ended up adding a bow to the center which would have covered up that brad anyways. So as you see here, I did get it to work so that you didn't see the brad or the stitching. And now that the spinner mechanism is ready, I can take it all apart and work on the color wheel. Before coloring the wheel in, I created a mask by using a scrap piece of paper and a large um, circle die. And I'm just gonna line it up with the stitching of the scalloped circle. And now I'm just gonna blend my colors out in rainbow order, starting from the center and working my way outwards. If I was to do this card over again, I would have used bristle paper as I find Distress Oxide inks blend a lot smoother on that kind of paper. So for now, I'll let you listen to the music as you watch me blend out these colors on the color wheel.
To the nail polish bottle, I thought it'd be fun to add another interactive element. I wanted to create a nail polish bottle that looked like it had glitter in it. So to do that, I created a little shaker window. These little love sequin hearts that I used are pretty thin, so my well didn't need to be built up at all. So now I'm just going to die cut the rest of the pieces for the nail polish bottle. And here I'm just going to finish putting the bottle together. Initially I had only cut out one layer of the bottle top, but in the end I wanted to add a little more dimension, so I ended up cutting two more layers out. Before gluing down the top of the bottle to the card, I'm just going to stamp out my sentiment. The stamps I'm using come from the Shine On stamp set and I love how they coordinate perfectly with the nail polish bottle die. I'm stamping out the stamps using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then I'm going to be heat setting it with some clear embossing powder. I find that by using a clear embossing powder I don't have to worry about those stray little black embossing powder specks. So now I'm just going to let you watch as I put the card together and add my embellishments and I'll just let you listen to the music and I'll be back before the end of the video. So to finish off the inside of the card, I'm just going to take the nail polish bottle from the Shine On stamp set and stamp it in multiple colors just on the bottom of the card. And that pretty much finishes off this card. I hope you've enjoyed watching how to create your own spin reveal card using supplies you may already own. For links to all the supplies I used from Honeybee Stamps, check out the links below. And for more inspiration using these products, check out the Honeybee Stamps blog. Thank you all for spending some time with me today. And until next time, everyone, happy crafting. Bye.